hi guys you're welcome back to my channel on today's tutorial we're going to be learning how to make a donut top band the materials you'll be needing for this is your stretchy fabric your fiber your fishing line your scissors needle and thread and your measuring tape okay um as you can see i have already cut out my fabric and I've, I've also made my cap base for the papers of the donut the measurement I'm going to be using for that is for the length the measurement I'm going to use is 27 inches by length that is for the donut, the part we are going to be using to form the donut and about 5 inches for the width. You will also cut out another piece of fabric that I are going to use to form the donut. Let's work on the donut now. And please try and pay attention to what I'm doing right now. We first of all stitch this part. Fold this part into that, and then bring this. What can't you do? What won't you do? Nothing impossible. Nothing impossible. What can't you do? you do nothing impossible with our God you do not lie you do not fail what is hard for you to do it doesn't exist yet. it's gonna never ever exist you do not lie you do not fail what is hard for you to do it doesn't exist yet. it's gonna never To all I know, because you are not a man that changes your mind. Oh, those that know you will trust in you, not in horses and chariots, but the arm of flesh. No man can prevail. No man, no man, no man, no man. My confidence is you. What is hard? What is hard for you? It's gonna Can never ever exist though. You do not lie, you do not fail. What is hard for you to do? To do it's can never ever exist though. Those I know you will trust in you, not in our season chariot, but an arm of flesh. No man can and open it here yeah. I didn't stitch it to the end there's an opening here that's where you open it out from okay the next thing we are going to do now is that we're going to insert our fiber into it From that very place that you turned it out from, you insert the fiber inside it.
I'm going to complete that off camera and I'll get back to it. Okay, I'm done with the donut frame. So the next thing I'm trying to do now is to cover up that particular spot from where I turned it out using my fishing line and my needle. Okay. And that's it for the frame. The next thing we are going to work on is the second piece of fabric. The second piece of fabric that we are going to use. For the second piece of fabric, you're going to fold it into two and sew along the spots. When you're done, you will insert it into your donut frame and then fold backward. Just like this. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to keep folding and be pulling it at the back. To keep folding it this way. And pull. You fold. And pull. Okay. I'm going to complete that off camera and I'll get back to us. Okay. Our donut is ready. And the next thing we're going to be doing now is to attach it to our card base. I'm actually going to be using my fishing line to do that. This is as a result of the fact that I, I, it gives me a more neat finishing. Okay. I'm going to be doing an invisible tacking from behind. You should note that you can also make your donut and use it to make a hairband. Okay. You can use it to make anything of your choice, not just for cap. Just like this one that I made. This one is a hairband that I make for I made for a client. Okay, and the measurement of your donuts varies. It depends on the size that you want. It depends on the size that you actually want to make. All right. So let's attach it to the cap base. Once you are done attaching, your cap is ready. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, as well as comment and share. Okay? Also, give us a thumbs up in order to get a notification on my next video. Bye.